All right, Kipsters, today we're going to learn how to represent fractions on number lines, in particular when those fractions are um, not fractions that are proper. All right, so if we look at this fraction right here, it says represent 11 fifths on the number line above. Uh, the denominator tells us how many pieces it'll take to make a whole. Therefore, it takes five pieces because the denominator is five. So every fifth tick mark will be one whole then. So let me start at zero. And let me start counting. One, two, three, four, five. The fifth tick mark will make one hole. So that's one hole. And let me go five more. Five more will make another hole. One, two, three, four, five. That's two. Let's go again. One, two, three, four, five. That's three holes. One, two, three, four, five. That's four holes. And I can keep on going on. However, I want to find the eleventh fifth. So the eleventh fifth, I could do it one or two ways. I could count each individual tick mark to get to 11. Um, let me try that method first. Start at 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 fifths is right there. That's 11 fifths. Um, or I can actually count and know that every hole is going to be 5. So if I go 5, 10, then I have to go one more to make 11, one more fifth. So that's 11 fifths right there. And that's why 11 fifths is also 2 and 1 fifth. OK? All right, let's go to the next one. It says represent 17 thirds on the number line above. So looking at the denominator, it tells us every third tick mark will make one hole. So let me start at 0. And every 3, I'm going to put a hole. 1, 2, 3. One. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four holes. One, two, three, five holes. One, two, three, six holes. And I can keep on going on forever, but I won't. All right, uh, we're getting to the 17th third. I know that each one of these tick marks is one third. I know that every hole is three thirds. Let me just count um, in terms of the multiples of three to save myself some time. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 18 is too much, so somewhere between here, 15, 16, 17. There's 17 fifths, or if you want to count each individual one, you're more than welcome to. Sorry, 17 thirds. Let's count that. Start at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yes, 17 thirds. And it's thirds because it takes one, two, three pieces to make one whole. Okay? All right. Now, using the number line again, you can actually calculate the distance between two points if the number line uh, is made up of um, the same denomination. And in this case, it is. So what is the distance between the two points? Well, first, count the number of um, parts in between those two points. Let's start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I know it's 13, but 13 what? How many pieces does it take to make one whole? 1, 2, 3, 4 pieces until I get to 1, so it's 13 fourths. 13 fourths is going to be what as a mixed number? How many times can 4 go into 13? You can go into it 3 times. You get to 12 with 1 left over. So the answer is 3 and 1 fourth. And be precise, units. And that's how you use the number line to either represent fractions or to find distances between points on a number line. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.